It's week 18, and we've got still some high drama in front of us. A couple spots still for grabs in the AFC. So who do you have taking those final two spots? We've got the Colts, the Chargers, the Raiders, the Steelers, and the Ravens still in a mix. I, I like the Colts and the Raiders. I, I really think that the Colts – with their running game and the things that they can do defensively, that they should be able to, to find a spot. And then you look at that matchup between the Chargers and the Vegas Raiders. The Chargers defensively have a hard time stopping anybody. And you look at Vegas, and, and I really think that Carr has done a great job considering the circumstances of what they've had this season with losing their head coach. And they've continued to fight on. Um, I love Max Crosby, their defensive end. I think defensively, they are a stronger team. So I'm going to go with the Raiders. So I, I think the Raiders sneak in as well. Uh, Rob, you mentioned a lost uh, head coach, and that's kind of what happens at this time of the year. Uh, it's an uncomfortable conversation, but with it being the last weekend of games in the regular season, are there any coaches that you peg? This is probably the last time we'll see them on the sidelines coaching their current team. Well, I, I, I think we know Nagy's probably not going to be there uh, with the Chicago Bears, so that's going to be an open position. Um, some of the maybe the, the bigger question marks would be teams that have underperformed from the, for the last couple of years, basically. And, and I think if you look at the Giants, um, I, I know Joe Judge has, has really been working hard there and, and tried to turn that organization around, but they've been struggling for a long time, way before Joe Judge ha has arrived. So it, it almost seems like that particular situation and organization that goes beyond the head coach, um, maybe the GM, maybe some other things need to go on with the Giants to try and uh, correct the things that have, that have been going on there for not just one or two years, but four or five years. Nick, the MVP race, it's been Aaron Rodgers at the top of this thing for the last few weeks. There's been some headlines with some voters who, quite frankly, aren't a fan of Aaron off the field. Shouldn't matter in the voting, but it's become a story. Uh, but getting back to the MVP race, is this all locked up for Aaron Rodgers? Or does this last week still create some drama for some people to contend against him and maybe steal this thing? Well, don't call me biased, but I probably am biased to Tom Brady. I, I think that Tom um, has really just been phenomenal this season. And, and listen, I know you can – they had the one game where they were shut out with the Saints. Throw that one out the door. Everything else for Tom Brady has been phenomenal. So, you know, I, I think Tom should be in the mix there, but I do believe Aaron Rodgers will win it because of the performance that he has had this season and where the Green Bay Packers seem to be going. I think that they will be the Super Bowl team out of the NFC um, Tampa right now now dealing with a ton of injuries and we know what's going on with all the ab drama um unfortunately for the guys on the roster they're having to deal with that so um i'm probably going with aaron Rodgers will win it again this year um even though we know one voter isn't voting for him but who cares i still think he wins it <laughs> yeah who cares about that that's in the rear view aaron Rodgers has been fun to watch all season long it's fun and uh we're grateful for you joining us rob uh, take care i'll talk to you soon all right. Take care, guys. See you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.